J.R. Todd, the DHL Toyota out of Clinton Motorsports, CMR Construction and Roofing, Sealmaster, Rev Kim, the Gazoo Racing, Supra, JR, in case you missed the memo, is afraid of clowns. But he ain't afraid of other funny car drivers. He's sitting in the number nine spot right now. John Force. Back with the peak colors on the side of his Chevrolet this weekend. He also made two solid runs yesterday. I mean, not Tasca solid, but not bad. 397. And a 402. Force currently resides in the number five qualifying position. Working with Danny Hood. Tim Fabrizi for Power Solar. NK Seed. Monster Energy. John just keeps on keeping on. He's like the NHRA equivalent of the Energizer Bunny. Just keeps going and going and going. Well, it's interesting. It, it really defies logic. I think John Forrest and what he's doing is underappreciated by the world out there. This guy's 73 years old. He's still winning races. He's competing at the top level. The guy's an icon of our sport and just what's possible in America. Uh, sometimes I wonder, you know, do we not do a good enough job of pushing him out there to that group? Like for the folks that are in their 70s, this is their guy. He's out here beating up on the youngins on a pretty regular basis. Where else can you see that? I do a good job. I don't know about everybody else. You're not 73. No, you said we don't do a good job pushing him out there. Look how about that. a 394 at 319 miles an hour for John? And how about a 396 for J.R. Todd at 325 miles an hour? John Force, best run of the round. J.R. Todd just moved up to the number four spot. So, Hagen and Height, one and two. No surprise there, but John Force just jumped up to third, and J.R. Todd just jumped all the way up to fourth. That's the best side-by-side run we've seen in Funny Cars so far. Yeah, great run right there. J.R. with the GR Supra, and, of course, Force getting it done, 319 miles an hour, 394. That's what the fans came to see. That's the show that they're looking for, and they're getting it here on a Saturday at Bandemere. Well, that brings up the question, what can Hagen and Height do? Looks like Jason's waiting on us. And I'm down here with Dan Hood, and he just went 394-2. Alan Reinhardt wants to know what the next pair can do. Is that going to hold for low ET this round? I don't know. These two cars are running good. Um, we've been stumbling cylinders, so all we need to do is get the pair to run on eight, and it runs pretty good. Yeah, eight cylinders. That makes sense. That's how many you got. You might as well use them all. 